So, today's video is gonna upset 38% of you. But for the other 62% of you, you're gonna love today's video. First of all, I wanna say that when I saw how many people voted for me not to try this, I got very emotional. I really did, I was like, look how everybody loves me. They don't want me to iron my hair. They want me to stick to this journey, aww. Aww. Honestly, I love you guys. You are so sweet. But see, what happened was uh, I bought it before I asked you guys. So we're in too deep now. We're gonna try this. And you know what? Now that I'm sitting here, because I washed my hair last night and I obviously didn't put any products in it, I wasn't scrunching it, I was just letting it dry on its own. And then I started to brush my hair when it was dry. I haven't done that in a long time now that I'm not ironing my hair. As I was brushing it, I was like, aww. I'm kind of sad doing this. I've actually gotten used to my curly hair and I actually really want to embrace it more, which is crazy because I am a straight hair biatch. Like, my whole life, I've, I've never liked my natural hair. And now I'm really into it. And honestly, after I film this video and I wash my hair, I'm gonna go back to the curly thing and I don't know if I'm gonna use this again. I mean, really, I have no idea because I plan on doing this curly thing for a while and doing like a six month update all about it. So I'm really just testing this out for this specific video. I'll probably give this to my mom. I mean, I'm gonna keep it but I'll let my mom use it all the time <laughs> so that I feel like I didn't just throw my money away because I don't know if you guys know. Oh, by the way, okay, let me tell you what this video is. Today's video is going to be a review and demo on the brand new Dyson Corral, Corral. I don't know how to say that, but this really caught my attention the other day. I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw somebody using it and I was like, oh my gosh, Dyson has a flat iron? I gotta try that. Then I went on the Dyson website and I nearly fell off my chair when I saw that this was $500. $500. Now, I honestly don't know why I was so surprised since everything from Dyson is super expensive. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a whole video dedicated to the Dyson Airwrap. That thing was super cool and super expensive. So when I saw that they came out with a flat iron, I just knew I had to try this. This is, this is my thing, guys. I have tried every flat iron under the sun and I have always been extremely picky when it comes to flat irons. My taste has evolved the older I've gotten. Of course, when I was younger, all I cared about was the flatness. I didn't care about it damaging my hair. I just wanted straight, shiny, perfect hair. Now, as an adult, I definitely care about the damage it's causing. It's the reason why I bought the GHD iron to begin with. Let me start from the beginning really quick. Let me tell you a little backstory. The Chi flat iron, Take a look at this guy. I have had this since high school, this this specific flat iron, and my 10 year high school reunion is this year, so um, just do the math there. I've had it for more than 10 years, and I wanna say it's about dead. I can totally still use this, but to be honest, I'm scared to put this in the wall and then like electrocute myself. So I haven't used it since this thing fell off, but this was going strong till the other day. When I tell you that the Chi flat irons were the best flat irons back in the day, I am not kidding. This is the best iron in the world. Now, if you were to go to Ulta and go pick up another Chi, it's not gonna be the same. I don't know if it's true, it's just my conspiracy theory, but I feel like I can almost guarantee that they've changed this flat iron and they changed it like seven years ago, seven or eight years ago. I've bought so many backup cheese after this one and all of them have broken on me. They don't get my hair as straight as the old school chi does. My mom has an old chi as well from like back in the day. Hers is still going strong and is still amazing and all the new ones we've purchased are like garbage. They damage my hair way more. I have so many thoughts about the Chi flat iron, guys, you have no idea. You would be opening a decade old can of worms. I can go on and on. I can go on and on. <laughs> but because I was just so unhappy with all the new Chi's and all the other flat irons I had tried, they all sucked, they were damaging my hair, and they weren't making my hair as straight as I wanted it to be. And that's when a bunch of people online told me about the GHD Platinum Flat Iron. That is this one right here. It just has like different packaging. I don't know if it was like limited edition or something when I bought it. I'm used to paying like this much for a flat iron. So when I saw this one online for $250, I almost pooped my pants. I was like, guys, $250, that's crazy. I don't know if it's worth it, bro. I don't know if it's worth it. But the whole thing with this is that it was a lot better for your hair. This iron is supposed to have predictive technology. I don't even know what that is, but it's supposed to recognize the thickness of your hair and the speed at which you are styling and adjust accordingly so you get 
unbeatable results quicker and personalized to you. And people rave and rave about this. Now, I will say, I've gone back and forth with these two flat irons and I still prefer my old school chi, only because I feel like my hair gets straighter with this one. But this one does make my hair look shinier, feel healthier. So I do think that this one is better quality. Is it worth $250? Maybe because it has that breakthrough technology. I'm not sure they have another flat iron. That's $200. It's their GHD gold This one is the platinum one I honestly don't know the difference and I don't know why there's a $50 difference But this is the one everybody recommended to me. So this is the one I got now When Dyson came out with a flat iron, I was like Okay, hold up I'm listening because Dyson always just comes with the newest and coolest technology. I mean, all of the Dyson stuff is so cool. The air rack really is an innovative and super cool tool. And a part of me does sometimes feel like the air wrap is worth it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I use my Revlon brush way more than the air wrap, but I can tell that my Revlon one damages my hair more than my Dyson one. My hair smells like it's frying when I use the Revlon one sometimes and I never get that with Dyson. So I do know that Dyson uses the best technology when it comes to protecting your hair. And so I'm very curious about this new flat iron. My thing is the air wrap was cool cause like it your hair wrapped by itself, you know? But this, this is, this is just a flat iron. You know, what's so cool about it? Let's see, let's figure this out. By the way, it's, 8 p.m. at night, I was supposed to film this earlier in the day and I got caught up on TikTok. <laughs> I need to delete the app because I just, it's getting out of hand. Okay. <gasps> I just read something that might change the game for me, folks. Use cord free or corded for longer run time? You can use this without a cord. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. That just got me really excited for some reason. Okay, this comes with a two year warranty, thank God. <gasps> Thank God. And it also comes with a little stand. Ooh, wow, this feels so heavy. Like, almost too heavy, perhaps? Okay, so in today's video, I am actually gonna be flat ironing my hair with the Dyson Corral, but I'm only gonna be using it on half of my hair. On the other half, I'm gonna be using my GHD Platinum because it is literally half the price, and even this is wildly expensive, so... Holy crap. Okay, so this is the little stand. And then at the bottom you get the cord, which in true Dyson fashion is huge. So besides this really cute stand, the Dyson Corral also comes with this really adorable little velvet pouch, perfect for traveling. And it comes with this little pocket thing right here connected to the pouch to where you can put the little battery in it if in case you're traveling. <gasps> Oh, interesting. Wow, okay, I'm opening this for the first time with you guys <laughs> on camera. You can either charge the flat iron directly with this, it's just like a little magnet, or you can charge this. So basically, you can be doing your hair and while you're sectioning off your hair and your flat iron is resting on this little stand, it's also charging. That's pretty freaking epic. So I like that. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Definitely major points, major, major points. For today's video though, I am gonna be using it like this, just directly plugged into my extension cord I've got here next to me. This could be an issue. This thing keeps falling off. Does that like fall off easily? I don't like that. Okay, so let me get myself situated here and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I have my Dyson Corral plugged in. This thing keeps popping off and it's already driving me crazy, not gonna lie. So basically, you press the power button for just a second and then it turns on. And then you have your little buttons here and you can do either 330 degrees, 365 or 410. I'm gonna get a little spicy and I'm gonna do 365. And you can see the temperature starts to rise and it's about to hit 365. It just hit 365. Okay, so let's test this puppy out together. Let's try a few pieces. By the way, I already added heat protectant to my hair earlier. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh, the good thing is that even though this comes off, it doesn't turn off your flat iron, but that is literally gonna drive me crazy. Is there a way to just like keep it in? You know, just like a little stronger, perhaps? I mean, made it straight. It smells a little toasty, but I mean, nothing. It's it's bad. 
nothing terrible. Actually, let's do a little section. Let's plug in my GHD. I just wanna do them both for a second. You know what I do love about the GHD, which I don't know if the Dyson does that. Let me read up on the Dyson. Wow, this video is all over the place. But I do love that the GHD will turn off by itself if it's been too long and it hasn't been touched. And I cannot tell you how many times that has saved my ass in my life because I am a very forgetful person and sometimes I will start flat ironing my hair and then I finish and I forget to turn it off. Happens to me more than I'd like to admit. And the GHD turns off by itself. And I'll notice it. Sometimes I'll be just here in my room chilling like a while after I'm, I've done flat ironing my hair and I'll hear it turn off. It goes -do 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 -do, and I'm like, oh, that's been on this whole time. <laughs> I wonder if the Dyson one does that. It should, right? It, it definitely should. I will say, the GHD flat iron is a lot more comfortable to hold. I guess you won't really tell the difference until I do my entire head. So let me go ahead and do that. What? Bing, 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 what? I'm confused. Why are you beeping? What? What's going on? Guys, I can't figure out why it's beeping. It's not saying why it's beeping, but I think it's slowly turning off. I think that's what it's telling me. I think it knows I haven't put it towards my head because it's not as hot as it used to be. It keeps going down and it keeps freaking beeping. Let's see if I keep ironing my hair if it happens. Oh my God. It's not beeping anymore. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it was doing. It was turning off, but okay, really awesome. It did turn off by itself. It saw that I wasn't touching it for a while and it slowly cooled down and then it shut off, which is amazing. One thing I'm noticing is that it's not skipping at all. Sometimes, especially when I add a heat protectant to my hair, my flat iron will skip, like it'll get stuck on the heat protectant and I'm not noticing that with this. I noticed it on the other side with the GHD. It feels so heavy, I can't get over it. Sorry, I feel like I'm complaining a lot in this video. I'm just trying to give you the pros and cons because when you are making such an investment in a flat iron, I want you to know all the details. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through some of this now while I give you some details on the actual product because there's a lot to tell you and not enough time. Okay, so I just remembered one thing I really love about my GHD flat iron is that I would use it all the time to actually curl my hair because it has these curved edges. It's just so easy to like flip and curl your hair with this. And I don't find that to be the case with every flat iron. You can't do that with all of them. So that's an awesome thing about this, which kind of justifies the price a little bit. Like, yeah, it's super pricey, but you do get like a curling iron and a flat iron in one. So I'm very curious to see if this one does the same thing. I mean, it looks like it does, it's round, but let's check. Let's see how it curls this little piece. And honestly, if there have been videos on this, I haven't seen any video on the Dyson flat iron. So there could be tons of videos of people curling their hair with this. I honestly haven't seen it. So, I mean, that's that's a major point. It has the rounded edges, so you get a flat iron and a nice curling iron in one. That is definitely a major, major plus. It's crazy because it sounds like it's pulling your hair, but it's not. It's like so bizarre. Like my hair feels perfectly fine, but it sounds weird, I don't know. Okay, back to this. Okay, so basically they claim this is the only straightener with flexing plates that shape to gather the hair. So it has flexing manganese copper alloy plates that shape around your hair and this extra control allows you to create the same style but with less heat and half the damage, which is pretty freaking epic. It says the flexing plates enable super shiny results and it also gives you 50% less breakage. So not only less heat damage, but less damage overall. And it says that it's supposed to provide less frizz and fewer flyaways, which we will see about that at the end of this. It has an integrated sensor system that regulates the temperature of the plates 100 times a second, ensuring constant power so heat never exceeds your chosen setting. So it has intelligent heat control. And the cool thing about this being cord free is that it doesn't affect the voltage or the power of the actual iron. It says the Dyson Corral delivers the thermal performance of a corded straightener while being cord free, which is awesome. Major, major brownie points there. Okay, so I was doing a lot of thinking 
thinking as I was <laughs> doing my hair and I feel like I have a lot of thoughts so without comparing the sides just based off of my hair here I do really like my results I'm not gonna lie as I was ironing my bangs just now I was like oh there goes all the progress I've done this whole time I should not be ironing my bangs look at them look at how broken they are from all of the heat damage of so many photo shoots so much flat ironing <laughs> My bangs are crispy. But I do really like my results. My hair feels really, really soft. I like that the iron wasn't skipping on my hair. That is one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm ironing my hair because I have to use a heat protectant and a lot of the times like you'll get little dents in your hair, like little grooves, because your flat iron will stay stuck in a certain spot when you're passing it through your hair. So that's a major issue, I hate that, and I love that I didn't get any skipping with this. And you know, I was thinking about it, and it's not that big of a deal that this constantly comes off because, I mean, ideally you would like to use this without the cord and you totally can once you fully charge this you can use it without the cord walk around your house and iron your hair and this definitely won't get in your way and it's not gonna be constantly falling off and annoying you because you can just use it without it I'm just obviously using it plugged in now because I just opened it and it wasn't fully charged this is not a deal breaker for me I don't mind it um, one thing I do mind however is the weight this is such a heavy flat iron like <laughs> I get tired of holding it. It is much heavier than any other flat iron I've used and that's probably because of, you know, all the Dyson technology in this, but you know, just keep that in mind, of course. But yeah, I'm curious to see how this side of my hair looks. Like, is it gonna look exactly the same? Let's find out. So the GHD claims to have ultra zone predictive technology, which is the latest breakthrough in heat styling guaranteed to deliver consistent results while you style. It says this revolutionary technology reads each section of your hair and styling speed and responds by delivering the optimum temperature of 365 degrees. This flat iron is also supposed to provide a lot of shine and it's also supposed to be color protecting. It says the plates allow your hair to pass smoothly while the rounded body is perfect for creating curls and waves, which yes it is, so is the Dyson. And this has an automatic sleep mode after 30 minutes, which I sure do love. Okay. So I'm done with my hair. What do you guys think? This is the GHD side, this is the Dyson side. Does one side look flatter than the other? Shinier, straighter, what do you guys think? Honestly, this side to me looks a little bit straighter. It looks a little bit less frizzy, or am I crazy? I feel like I see a lot more frizzy flyaways on the Dyson side versus the GHD side, and that's something that I noticed as I was ironing my hair, actually. I guess because of this plate technology, it doesn't let you squeeze your hair in this thing, so it's not like really pulling at the hair. Ugh, I don't know how to explain it, but I just felt like I was getting a little bit more frizziness or flyaways flyaways on this side versus this side. I don't know what that's about. I feel like it has to do with the plate technology. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's definitely something I'm noticing. I also feel like this side has a little bit more volume and I guess it's because this side just appears a little bit straighter and flatter. But besides that, my hair feels pretty much exactly the same on both sides. I really can't tell much of a difference. So with that being said, let me wrap up my thoughts. So the Dyson Corral, honestly, when it comes down to it, it's all about the heat technology. You're gonna wanna invest in this product if you're really trying to cut down on your heat damage. This claims to give you half of the heat damage than your average flat iron, which is a huge deal, a really big deal. And honestly, that is a major selling point and probably the main reason most people are gonna buy this flat iron. Oh, it's, what's happening? Oh, I keep unplugging it. <laughs> You know, Dyson does offer that ultra premium, super unique technology that honestly makes the price tag worth it for so many people, so I completely understand. There are so many cool factors to this. I mean, just the fact that you can use it without plugging it in is freaking epic. It has a little stand that you can also charge. It turns off when you're not using it for a long time. It has three different heat settings, and that's another thing. I did do both sides of my hair with the same heat settings. I used 365 on this side, and the GHD flat iron is always 365. You can't go lower and you can't go higher. The nice thing about this one is that it gives you three different settings. So you can potentially get an even flatter, sleeker look to your hair if you probably go up to the 400th mark. I just wanted to keep it even and fair, so I did 365. I was reading online, this can stay charged for about 30 minutes or more, which I feel like you can totally do your entire hair in 30 minutes. At least 
I can. It might take me a little bit more than 30 minutes, but I feel like I can get it done in 30. So that's a decent amount of time. I also really like that this flat iron does lock, so you can store it right away and it's not like hot on the outside or anything. That lock is also great for traveling. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and I don't know if it's worth the price tag. I don't know if it's worth $500. I look at something like the Dyson Airwrap and I'm like, oh, that's so cool, it's different, yes, worth the money. This, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I know it has that cool technology, but I don't know, this would have had to been something I tried over and over and over again because I don't know if it's worth it. It's so pricey, it's a bit heavy, it's a little bulky. I know it's under two pounds, don't get me wrong, this doesn't feel like a brick in your hands. And honestly, as I was doing my hair, it didn't really bother me, but it does feel significantly heavier than your average flat iron. So basically to sum this whole video up, I do like this. I think it's great. I think that having a product that gives me 50% less heat damage than I'm used to is amazing and for that reason alone is why I would use this. For the awesome Dyson technology is what I'm getting at. I think this would 100% be worth it because of that technology and only that. I mean, that is what they pride themselves on. That is the meat and potatoes of Dyson. That's what makes them them and that's what makes them so badass. It's the science behind them. Nobody does it like them. Absolutely nobody. So for that reason, I say, hell yeah, this is worth it. It's super cool and amazing. But if you're just looking to flat iron your hair and you don't care about the heat damage, if you're like, you know what, I'm gonna damage my hair anyway. I don't care about softening the blow. Screw that. Then go for a different flat iron. It's up to you guys. Honestly, what do you think? Oh, you know what though? You know what though? I kept showing you guys as I was ironing my hair with the GHD side, this gives me zero skipping. Actually, you know what? That is a major, major, major point. Okay, Dyson technology and the fact that this shit doesn't skip. I have never, even my Chi one, I'm like, I have never used a flat iron that doesn't skip when I've added heat protectant to my hair. And I gotta layer up the heat protectant because bro, my hair is damaged. I gotta protect it as much as I can. And you always get skipping and I did not get any skipping with the Dyson. That's probably another reason I would use this again, is literally for that alone. Ooh, that's another major point. But a whole ass double the price? I don't know, this is a tough one, guys. I would say start off small. If you're looking to invest in a really great flat iron, maybe try the GHD. If you really, really, really don't wanna damage your hair at all, but you wanna iron it, maybe this is the way to go. I don't know much about the Dyson technology. Like, I don't know enough about it, but I don't know guys, what do you think? I'm like on the fence. I think it's great, but the price tag, it's just, I can't justify it, dude. That it's half of a thousand dollars. It's it's crazy, bro, it's crazy. I kind of missed my straight hair though, right? No, no. You're a curly bitch now. But anyway guys, I think that completes this video. I think I need to end this video because I sat down to film it at 8 p.m. and it's 10 and God knows how long this thing is. I pretty much just wanted to try this product on camera with you guys. I wanted to test it against my GHD, see how it compared. I feel like, you know, there's not much else for me to do. I think that means this video is over. Uh, I don't know how I feel. I'd love for you guys to help me come to that conclusion. How do I feel? But anyway guys, <laughs> that completes this video. I hope you found it helpful. Maybe? At the very least, I hope it entertained you. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see from me next. And please don't get mad at me in the comments for having straight hair. I'm back on my journey as soon as I wash it, okay? I'm back on the journey. It's just a little detour, okay? But yeah, that's it. That completes this video, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.